Hey guys, I'm Alphonse. Welcome to the 14th episode of Anybody Can Code C programming series. If you'd like to take a look at the previous episodes, please use the link in the description. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at call by value method and call by reference method in C programming. First, why do we use this method? We use this method to pass the value from the calling statement to the functions. First, let's understand what call by value method is. In call by value method, the values are copied from the actual parameters to the formal parameters. The actual parameters and the formal parameters are stored in different memory locations. Any changes made in the formal parameters isn't reflected back at the actual parameters. So let's take a look at an example to better understand the working of call by value method. Here we are given a program and asked to write a function to swap the values between two variables. Let's write this function first using call by value method. Let's declare two variables. And let's get these values from the user. Once we're done with that, let's go ahead and write a program. So this function will not be returning any value. So the return type would be void. And I'm calling the function name as wrap. And I'm uh, declaring two formal arguments. So here we need to create a temporary variable to store one of the values of X or Y. So I'm assigning the value of X to the temporary variable temp and I'm assigning the value of Y to X and I'm assigning the value of Y. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm assigning the value of temp to Y. Let's call this function. Before that, to make sure this program is working fine, let's print the value of A and B before a swapping and after swapping. Let's also print the value of X and Y. Let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm giving the value of A as 10 and the value of B as 20. You can see that the value of A and B remains as 10 and 20 even after the value X and Y are being swapped. So since I had mentioned that 
the actual parameters and the formal parameters they make use of different memory locations let's go ahead and print the memory locations of uh, a and b variable and also the x and y variable Let's go ahead and run this program. I'm giving the value of A as 10 and the value of B as 20. We can see that the memory address of A and B is different from the memory address of an egg, X and Y. And though the value is being passed from the variables A and B to the variables X and Y, and the values of X and Y are swapped, there is no impact on the variables a and b. This tells us that any changes made in the formal parameters is not reflected back at the actual parameters. Next, let's look at call by reference method. In call by reference method, the memory address is passed from the actual parameters to the formal parameters. Bo both the actual parameters and the formal parameters refer to the same memory location. Any changes made in the formal parameters is reflected back at the actual parameters. So let's write the same swap function using call by reference method. So let's declare two variables a and b. And let's get these values from the user. Let's go ahead and write a function. So the return type would be void like before and the function name would be swap. So unlike the previous problem here, we have to create pointer variables. So what are pointer variables? Pointer variables hold the memory location of other variables. So let's create a temporary variable. We are following the same method like the previous problem. And now let's call this function. Since we are passing the address, we'll have to give ambersen A and ambersen B. So we are passing the address from the actual parameters to the formal parameters and the pointer variables, they hold the memory addresses of these A and B variable. So let's print the value of A and B before swapping and after swapping.
let's also print the value of x and y. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm giving the value of A as 10 and the value of B is 20. Here we can see that before swapping the value of A and B is 10 and 20. And once we send the address address of a and b to the pointer variables x and y and when the swapping happens both the variables x and y and also the variables a and b get swapped this tells us that any changes made in the formal parameters is actually reflected back at the actual parameters let's also go ahead and print the memory locations of these variables So let's go ahead and run this program. So here we have the memory address of A and B and the value of uh, A and B before swapping is 10 and 20. And we can see that the uh, memory addresses of a and b and x and y they are different but if you notice the value that is within x and y is actually the memory address of a and b and when we are using the pointer variable we are actually referring to the value that is within the memory address that is stored in that variable so here the pointer variable x holds the memory address of a uh, variable a and it is actually referring to the value a here y is holding the memory address of variable b and it is actually referring to the value of b so once the values uh, x and y are swapped the 
the values a and b are also impacted hence we can uh, say that any changes in the uh, formal parameters is reflected back the actual parameters the call by reference method with this we come to the end of this episode in the next episode we'll be looking at recursions in c programming so stay tuned hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe